Nice and beautiful. Welcome back in the kitchen. I got a chef record a cooking show, guys. Amazing to be in the kitchen giving you a favorite recipe. We all know, every one of us, I'm telling you, most people getting, getting prepared, getting ready for Christmas, you know. But, you know, every year I normally do this. I normally marinate my meat, season up it, and get it prepared and ready. This is how you must prepare your oxtail for your Christmas dinner, all right? tips and ideas I will put a link in the description how to cook it all right guys how to marinate the oxtail prepare it cook it and all these things there's another link will be in the description box where you can go over and watch it on my youtube channel how to cook it and I'm gonna show you how to season your oxtail and get it ready okay before the day of Christmas please take your oxtail out the night before Christmas Eve night and make it marinate take time slowly marinate out in the fridge all right you can also season it from the night before or you can season it now and put it in a freezer and take it out the night before Christmas you guys are gonna love this recipe I always do oxtail recipes chicken recipe lamb all these and times things we normally do on our show so thank you for tuning in and watch this lovely video guys stay tuned guys i love the guys so this is beautiful i have some lovely ox steel right here which i brought from this from the meat shop local meat shop and honestly it is amazing lovely i wash it off into some lemon juice or you can use up um white vinegar or mild vinegar or lemon or lime to wash your meat um this is beautiful guys it is fantastic and really amazing the first thing which i'm going to put on on my meat today is to introduce it to some pimento seed this is pimento seed you can get pimento seed in a local shop or your supermarket to buy so i'm gonna put one two three four pimento seed you know these pimento seed come all the way from jamaica to chef ricardo so now I'm gonna just put the four of them on it. Lovely and nice. Secondly, let's go into business. I have some fresh thyme, which I'm going to put on it also. This is some fresh thyme, which is just lovely to cook with your meat at home. Um, right over here, I have some garlic, which I'm gonna also put on it. If you have one of these garlic press, it is very good for you to have one at home, guys. It is amazing. It is really handy to do your your meat, you know, I mean, this is a garlic stress free. This one with Chef Ricardo have, I have been selling this one on my website. You can go over to the website, buy it, and I will, will ship it straight to you. It's just amazing, look at this. So I'm gonna do one cove of garlic, two cove of garlic inside of it, just like this, put in the garlic. And now, what I'm going to do is this. Look how the garlic come out lovely and nice, guys. It is amazing. If you don't have one, you're missing or something, all right? So that's two cloves of garlic, which I just put on the oxtail right here. I call them marinating up this beautiful oxtail. All right, the reason why I'm, I put on two cloves of garlic, I'm gonna put on roughly three cloves more. So I'm gonna just simple. This is three cloves more, which I'm gonna put on it. And I'm gonna simple this. Let's cut it up finely and put in it. I'm going to make this crush out into the pot when I'm going to be cooking my ox steel. Beautiful right there. Um, secondly, I got a spring onion. I'm just gonna chuck a spring onion in it. Why not? Bring in a lovely flavor. So, because I'm just giving you some tips and ideas of how you can marinate up you know, your meat ready for your Christmas dinner. So this is some spring onion we're gonna put that on it straight and it just like that secondly now I have a medium-sized white onion and I'm just gonna be using half of the white onion nice and lovely that's the white onion right there and that is beautiful all right now I'm gonna simply put roughly about two tablespoons of ketchup We're gonna put roughly about a tablespoon of browning. I'm using some dark browning. You can get that in a local shop or supermarket to buy. You don't wanna to put too much because it will make your meat double black. You have to be careful, which you don't want that. All right. 
Now, I'm gonna put some, this is some paprika. I'm gonna put roughly half tablespoon of paprika. And I'm gonna put one tablespoon of all-purpose seasoning. Let's put another half tablespoon, one and a half tablespoon of all-purpose seasoning. I'm gonna put some pepper, and that is beautiful. You don't have to, but Chef Ricardo normally use, I like to use like my herbs. I'm gonna put a large tablespoon of mixed herb. That is just option. All right, guys, lovely. Um, now, what I'm gonna do is get my real natural authentic blending season guys this is chef ricotta blending season i'm gonna put i'm gonna put on a, a tablespoon just like that beautiful now let's go into business by simple marinate it and getting that lovely flavor into the ox tail get it ready for your christmas dinner so what are you gonna do it's just marinate it like this guys it's so easy lovely and nice all right as, as i said you don't want to put too much brown in because once the, the secret behind this once you you cook your ox tail then the, once you marinate your meat from early the browning then it automatically gonna like bring in that lovely color what you are looking for i have some video links which i will put in the description box that so you guys can do the same thing at home beautiful look at that that is fantastic and an amazing look at the color now what i'm going to do is put two more cove of garlic so roughly about eight cove of garlic i'm gonna put on it beautiful so this can mash out into the pot when i'm going to cook it is that look amazing guys that is fantastic lovely tasteable and nice look at the color a little bit dark but it is is amazing really lovely and tasteable and nice and i know 100 percent you guys definitely going to love this version of the ox steel because every version i normally do it different all right so basically i want to say take the time out to say thank you guys for watching please stay tuned and i will see you in the kitchen with more recipe from chef ricotta and the team as i said this recipe is one of the most top recipe from chef ricotta for christmas ox steel you have to have ox steel on the menu all right guys look at it lovely and amazing beautiful oxygen